Hi everybody, it's Christine Thayers with Secret Family Recipe and bringing you today for week number 15 a very mozzarella recipe. First, let's talk about the name of it. This is called mozzarella in carroza. So, a little language lesson. In English, we have vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. And they are U and sometimes Y, right? In um, American or in English, they are pronounced in several different ways. It's a complicated language. In Italian, there is only one way of pronouncing our vowels, and this is it. A, E, I, O, U. And you have to have your mouth shaped like that. And by the way, R's are rolled. So, in order to pronounce this correctly, you have to say mozzarella en carosa. How's that sound? Sounds pretty cute, right? I know, special, and you should sound like you are authentically Italian. Okay, so practice it. I have to practice it because I'm in America. Today, we are going to be making something very quick and easy, and it is something that you can take to a barbecue. If you're outside, you wish you were inside cooking, just like me. It's air conditioned, I'm listening to Frankie Valley, and I am ready to show you something really cool. Alrighty, so what do we need? Every recipe is different, as you know by now, and you have to adapt into your own. Today, I am going to be using both styles of bread. It really calls for white sliced bread, which I just used pepper chon, um, because it's a good quality bread, and uh, mozzarella, true fresh mozzarella. You take the, the milk out of it. When you open it up, it should have a lot of milk liquid. I preserve that liquid right here because I'm going to use that as well. I'm also using flour, regular baking flour, white flour, and whisked eggs, okay? Um, and then there's something at the end which is a little bit different and unique that I enjoy it in. You may not, but that's okay as well. So the origins of this are old and not identifiable to an exact time or town, but it is a southern Italian dish, and it was made in order to not waste. Cheese was fresh each day, bread was fresh, so the next day, in order to not have that fresh cheese go to waste, they invented or created mozzarella in carosa. So, it was like, it's like a grilled cheese sandwich, but in an Italian way. So, we're gonna take our sliced bread, I am going to be lining it with mozzarella, the slices of mozzarella. I'm going to do one in the white bread to show you, and one in the, here, I'm putting our oil. That, by the way, is regular cooking oil for frying, okay? I'm taking our white bread, I'm covering this sandwich, and I'm compressing it as much as I can. I want this to stay together, and I don't want the mozzarella to go to the exterior of the bread. Same with the, with the sliced Italian bread. Look, mm -hmm. I do the Italian bread because I really love it. And I do cut the crusts off for the most part, not all of it, um, but I don't throw these away. Those get ground up and become breadcrumbs, fresh breadcrumbs. You don't have to wait until your bread gets stale. You could use them right away. So I have both white bread and Italian bread, and you can do it the way you like. So once I have this ready, which is a minute, I take my milky consistent consistency from the mozzarella, and I'm brushing it on. I might even do that. I want this nice and sealed in, so then I take the bread, and I am going around in the flour, can you see that? So that I get those ends sealed up. And I'm gonna put the entire bread in the flour. Some recipes call for breadcrumbs. I don't use breadcrumbs. Again, it's cooking, you can change it up. This cooks very quickly, so you can't use a really big skillet. You're going to be taking it out before you know it. Popping it in there. 
it's frying. I'm using my splash guard. And I'm going to do one more with the Italian bread. I'm gonna put this right in this milky water. I'm dipping it once again in my flour. This is on a medium heat for frying. I'm sorry if you're having trouble hearing me, but my fan is on and the reason it is is because um, it's frying and you have to, okay. And I'm tossing this around, I'm keeping this together as much as I possibly can. If something pops out, you gotta pop it back in. And then again, turning it over. So the Italian bread is a little bit tougher to keep together than the American bread. Nice and soaked in the egg. Don't be afraid of the oil. Occasionally you get burned. <laughs> you play with oil, you get burned, right? No, it's try not to, but it is what it is. You can also wear gloves if you'd like. Protect your hands. Um, so those are frying up. I have it on like right at medium right now because the oil is really, really hot. And even with the splash guard, I feel it's popping. Okay, and then we have a little surprise at the end, as always. I'm going to be placing these pieces as they come out of here on um, a paper towel to absorb the extra. So I'm going to use this if I, when I remove them. But initially, I'm using my solid to turn them. Look at how quickly I turn it. That even got cooked a little more than I'd like. The oil is very hot. Okay. And when I get them turned over, I'm smushing them down a little bit. Oops, cover. Okay. Now that I have that turned, I'm going to wait one moment. That'll melt enough inside. And I think, you know, for melting purposes, you don't have to keep it on so high. Medium at most, it's not so much low to me. You, you play with it and you judge from there. Okay, I'm going to remove this. I don't want it to get too hot. I want to take them out. It looks great. There you go. Look at this. See, I love the way the Italian bread cooks. Look at how perfect that is. Isn't that pretty? It's golden. It looks so good. Okay, I'm keeping this off of the heat because I'm going to now show you my next surprise. We have four of these little beauties here. See? Cute. Now, in this little pan, I have a half a stick of butter, melted. I'm gonna turn that back on. And that's, of course, love, because butter burns in one hot minute. Um, in here, I have two tablespoons, two good-sized tablespoons of capers. So once this is warm, we're gonna get it there. We'll go high until it gets nice and warm. And it won't take very long at all. Butter is so fast. You have to be quick. Okay, I'm going to toss these into that butter. There we go. Something to stir. And then I'm going to add, and this again is a total choice. It's not necessary. These are like dumb. So salt and pepper on top of this and you're finished. But who can resist a caper? I know I can. A little salty peas, right? Delicious. So I take my beautiful, this is Aunt Joan's platter. She was amazing. An amazing woman before her time, 1940s. Traveled to Hong Kong, taught them people in Hong Kong how to manufacture clothing. She worked for a dress designer. She was a pretty cool lady, I have to say. Here, lost my spoon. Okay, this is now heated up. It's so fast. Oh gosh, doing the first. Taking that away. There we go. Now, <laughs> did you catch that? <laughs> Wrong burner. Sorry. Can I eat nothing from you people in life? There we go. That's totally wondering why my capers weren't getting 
bubbling like this, and they are bubbling. So just a little bit of releasing that caper. Fresh lemon, right? Oh, squeeze it good. Try to take out the pits if you can. You have a little lemon squeezer that kind of is helpful as well. This one. up a little bit. <laughs> I don't even want to turn this over and see what I did to my cutting board. Oh well, time for some new cutting boards. I'm going to place these carrozas on my dish. Now, I don't think that anybody wants to eat this whole thing, so I believe the best thing to do is cut them in half, making little bite size, if you will, pieces. Mm. Delicious. The taste is so good. Who wouldn't like fried mozzarella? Everyone needs mozzarella. Mozzarella sticks. But those aren't really mozzarella. Come on. You need fresh. Okay. This is done. Like literally you have to warm it up. It's so incredibly simple. I'm going to a little salt, a little pepper, I'm going to take this, again, you don't have to do this, this is crazy, <laughs> and I'm sprinkling it around the edges, not really on top of it, so you can kind of dip if you'd like. That's it. All right, it's melting. Mm. I didn't want to show you that. Anyway, oh my god, it's so incredibly good. I absolutely love it. I think you will too. Happy that you were able to be here to watch. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Today's Sunday, and I hope that you had a really great 4th of July. I have to go run and do a, um, a tour today, so I'm going to be doing that, and hopefully I'll see you again next week. Gma might be here again next week. I'm picking her up in Brooklyn tomorrow. So remember, show up next week for Secret Family Recipe 16, and remember, there's no place like home. Thank you.